late dad passed away of cancer 10 months ago. Take your marks. Underway the 200 backstroke for women. This is a shot at the Olympic Games again. Who's going to be first to surface and where will they be? Emily Seabom's done well, but next to her, Kaylee McEwen just in front. Mina Atherton not that far away. Seabom now swimming strongly. Nice high fast stroke rating from Kaylee McEwen. She rates much faster than Emily Seabom right beside her. She will settle into that stroke. It's a great first 50 metres. World record split is 29.06. She is ahead of that. No, just off it. It looked like she would be, but 29.06 just shaved her. Uh, the time to look for at the 100 is 10037. Do they have that in them today? To be a long drop from the heats from this morning. But right now, Kayla McEwen doing a terrific job. Emily Seabon trying to stay with her. She's under some pressure for Minna Atherton. Yeah, I really like what I see from Kaylee. She's not waiting around to see what pace anybody else is going to set. She's just going to take it out. Sitting on that lane rope again. Let's see whether or not she can stay a little bit more down, straight down the centre of the lane, or just anchor herself to one side of the lane rope. Emily Seabon straight down the middle. How quickly can she bring it home? She's only two tenths of a second outside world record pace at the halfway mark, Nick. There was a great split, one double O, and there is that world record line. Third 50 of a 200 metres backstroke. It hurts like nothing else. Right now, her legs are stinging. She's just breathing every single stroke, holding it together. Regan Smith has very good turns because this world record line is getting away from Kaylee on the turns. Can she bring it home? 1.32 and a touch. It was 1.31.84 for the world record. Sitting nicely in the water, still nice and high. She's ahead of that world record line again. Starting to fatigue a little bit. Seabom's putting in a great performance as well. So Kaylee McEwen, she's back at that world record line right now. Seabom's going to qualify. Regan Smith's world record's got her. It's still going to be a terrific swim. Kaylee McEwen out in front. You're doing it for Dad. She's off to Tokyo in another individual swim. And that is a Commonwealth record time. Great effort. A best time by two one hundredths of a second, 204.28. Well done, Kaylee McEwen. A really good swim. Anytime you get in and do a PB, wow. Did it surprise you, the drop from the heat, Nick? It was a huge drop from the heat. When she gets to the Olympic Games, I'd love to see a closer heat semi-final, final timings. You can't afford to go 2.10 in the heats and then think that you're going to go 203. It's just too much of a, of a gap. They talk about the drop-off between a heat and a final. Let's take a look underwater. She is just so, so technically fantastic underwater. See the hand bends underwater. Let's take a look on top. The head's nice and still. That reach at the back, very, very flexible. Nice straight arms. Let's look at the turns. Hits the wall. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven kicks. They were very short, sharp little kicks. That's her signature underwater and stayed fairly straight in the lane, John, too, which was nice to see. And Emily Seabom trying her best to bridge this gap. She's qualified for that 200 backstroke as well at the Olympic Games. At her fourth Olympic Games, the lunge for the wall. And you wind the clock back, Nick, you know, six months or so. You wouldn't have thought Emily Seabom could be in this sort of form. Former world champion, of course, but she's going to swim both the 100 and the 200 at the Olympic Games at 29, her fourth Olympics. She'll join Kate doing that. And, of course, the only other swimmer in history for Australia to have achieved that is Liesl Jones. But Kaylee McEwen, obviously, it's a qualifying time. It's a Commonwealth record, 204-28, a terrific PB, and 206-38 for Emily Seabom, a fine swim as well as we get set to go down to pool deck. And we've got Gian. Kaylee, to you, congratulations. A PB for you, which in this instance means a Commonwealth record. Well yeah. done. Thank you. Definitely had a lot in the last 15, but we got to a wall on the last event of the, of the long week. <laughs> We were just saying, you've got to wait till the last day to do the most painful event on your program. How I know, are your legs it definitely feeling? sucks, and we were talking about this in Marshling, but I think by the looks of Emma and I, we're pretty puffed, and our legs are pretty rooted. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's all about qualifying. You did that in the 100 back. It's lovely to see that you've qualified again in the 200 back. Yeah. It's great to have so many events going into Tokyo. Yeah, I mean, after the 100 back stroke, it definitely took the rest of the pressure off qualifying, so just coming out tonight and gave it my best.
Well, you certainly did that. I've got a little photo for you as well because this lady next to you used to be an idol of yours. Um, up on the screen, that's an, I think, eight-year-old, Kaylee. Yeah, I think I was about eight and out. My sister dug that up from somewhere I don't know where, but... Next to, yes, MC Bum over here. Em, I don't want to make you cry. We're all getting a little bit old because, once again, you've got another event added to your fourth Olympic program. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, um, I'm absolutely stoked with that. Uh, I knew, like, the backstrokes were going to be so hard with all the young girls in there and uh, me plodding along at almost 30. So I knew it was going to be tough, but I'm just so glad that I've qualified for both my two main events and hopefully I can just improve to Tokyo. I just want to give everyone a bit of an indication as well. You didn't make the 29 World Championship team. You missed that team. Yeah. A lesser athlete would have walked away and said, I'm done. You have made a comeback and you're now swimming just as fast as you were when you were at your best. Yeah, I think, you know, that was a real wake-up call for me. Um, and it's definitely made me a super tough athlete because, like you said, I could have taken the easy option and, and totally just given it in. But I wanted to give this one last crack because... I always had the dream of going to four and, you know, I'm so glad that I stuck around with it. I'm so glad that I have Bowley to, to take me there and, you know, I've got an amazing um, support system with my family, with my partner and, and with my friends, so I'm really lucky. It's been an emotional week for both of you. We're very proud of both of you. Congratulations. Kaylee McEwen, Emily Seabom, well done.